commemorative resolutions. I ask unanimous consent that these resolutions and bills be considered in block and read and open to amendment at any time. Clerk. H. Con Res 268, supporting the goals and ideals of National Women's Health Week. H. Res 403, supporting the goals and ideals of National Teacher Day. H. Res 792, honoring Robert Kelly Slater, the 2010 Rip Curl Pro Bell Champion. H. Res 879, supporting the goals and ideals of American Education Week. H. Res 1187, expressing the sense of the House of Representatives with respect to raising public awareness of and helping to prevent attacks against federal employees while engaged in or on account of the performance of official duties. H. Res 1256, congratulating Phil Mickelson on winning the 2010 Masters Golf Tournament. H. Res 1297, supporting the goals and ideals of American Craft Beer Week. H. Res 1316, celebrating Asian Pacific American Heritage Week, month, excuse me. H. Res, uh, H.R. 5051, designating the facility of the United States Postal Service located at 23 Genesee Street in Hornell, New York, as the Zachary Smith Post Office Building. H.R. 5099, designating the facility of the United States Postal Service located at 15 South Main Street in Sharon, Massachusetts as the Michael C. Rothberg Post Office. H.R. 5133, designating the facility of the United States Postal Service located at 331 First Street in Carlstadt, New Jersey, as the Staff Sergeant T Frank T. Carville and Lance Corporal Michael A. Schwartz Post Office Building. H.R.E.S. 1328, honoring the life and accomplishments of William Ernest Ernie Harwell and H.R.E.S. 1294, supporting designation of the first Saturday in May as National Explosive Ordnance Disposal Day to honor those who are serving and have served in the noble and self-sacrificing profession of explosive ordnance disposal in the United States Armed Forces. Right. Thank you. I have a manager's amendment at the desk to make technical corrections to H.R.R.E.S. 403 and H.R.E.S. 792 and H. Res. 1187, I ask unanimous consent that, the, that they be adopted and considered as base text, and without objection, so ordered. Uh, having satisfied the committee's criteria, each of these measures are worthy of support, and I therefore urge their adoption. Does the ranking member have any comments on these bills? I yield five to the ranking member. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and I won't use all of the time. Uh, I guess I'll, I'll go in reverse order. Uh, uh, H, H. Res 1294, uh, I would never have done it, but now that the gentlelady from Florida has uh, authored it, uh, I'll look forward to being one of those former EOD guys who, uh, who I guess gets recognized. I'm rather shocked that anyone would remember us. Uh, over and above that, uh, Mr. Chairman, <laughs> we have reviewed these postal namings and resolutions and find that they meet the present committee requirements. Uh, I would only note for the record that as we look at on a bipartisan basis significant change in our uh, postal system with a decline in, in, uh, in postal mailings and a recognition that there's going to have to be some reorganization. Some of it will clearly affect some of our postal uh, buildings that uh, I would ask that we, uh, we begin a process with our staff of working on a bipartisan basis to establish a new standard that would make it uh, unlikely that we would name a post office that could be targeted for closure. I think that when we look at our fallen heroes and others, uh, we should use extra caution to ensure that their plaques not be taken down uh, only a year or two after uh, uh, the naming. So with, with that comment, I uh, support all of the resolutions and namings and yield back the balance of my time. I thank the gentleman for a statement, of course, and. Um, uh, it's something that we definitely need to take into consideration. Any other members seeking recognition? Mr. Sheffield. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Just, just a, a, a brief note of uh, just a, on HRES 792, look, I, I will defer to my colleagues who have um, researched this and, and looked into this a little deeper than I. I have. I understand that uh, some members uh, desire need to uh, recognize and highlight and pat on the back, if you will, uh, sports accomplishments. 
I feel a little uncomfortable saying at the end of the first paragraph that uh, Kelly Slater is an excellent role model. I just simply don't know enough. I'm sure he's a great gentleman. He's obviously an amazing surfer, but I think it's a little bit, I worry that the Congress goes a little bit far in uh, telling our youth and telling everybody that this is an excellent role model without really knowing and understanding and worrying that uh, something may or may not happen. I, it's just a note of caution. I, again, I'm, I'm not going to stand in the way of this, but I think we need to be a little cautious sometimes when we put people out as role models and uh, and call them that and vote on it and and express the sense of Congress that this is an excellent role model, not really knowing if this is the kind of role model that we should be throwing out there. So with that, I just wanted to simply make that comment. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'll yield back. I, I, I thank the gentleman for his statement, and of course, and I can understand his concerns, you know, but I sort of look at it a little differently that maybe by saying this, even if there are some things that he's not doing right, maybe this will help him to correct them. <laughs> Anybody else seeking recognition? <laughs> I, I ask unanimous consent that the measure previously designated and amended be reported favorably by the committee without objections so ordered. This concludes our business for today. I ask unanimous consent that the staff be authorized to make technical and conforming changes to all matters ordered reported without objections so ordered. The committee stands adjourned.